Hey, what's up, fellas? So I got a water pump that I just took off the LTD. It's still kind of moist. Um, what was going on was the LTD when I was driving it, it was fine. But when I get into traffic or sit idling for a little bit, the temperature would start creeping up and get over 210. So uh, I used a temperature uh, reader and found that the water was coming out of the uh, thermostat fine, but it wasn't getting up to the radiator as well as it should. So I figured, well, I probably need a high volume pump. So I got one. This is a Milodon model. And after measuring and comparing the two, I find out that there's the only difference between them is this, this plate on the back of the impeller. They still got the same number of impellers. Looks to be about the same style, same angle, all the other stuff that they look exactly the same. Now, actually, the shafts on this one are a little bigger than the ones on here, which is surprising. So this is like three and a half inches across. So the next, uh, I'm going to get a hole saw from Lowe's and I got some sheet metal. I'm going to make this into a high volume pump and put it on, uh, it'll go on a Dugan wagon. So I'll put this on and we'll see how it works out. Uh, if it still does the same thing, then my next option will be to put a uh, standard uh, stock pulley on the uh, water pump because right now I got underdrive crank pulley and an underdrive water pump pulley. So that'll be next and once I get this running then I'll finish this video off and uh, let you know how it worked out. Also something to pass along I saw these on Instagram one at the uh, Hardaway Racing the guy in town that's got a diesel shop. <clears throat> these work I think will work pretty good I'm gonna put the first one on the Capri, but I've got uh, terminals on the other cars, like for a lot of the other accessories to run on there, like the water pump and a electric fan or whatever, you know, you need power to it, the line lock, all that stuff. So if you got just the term, the terminal stud, you only got the center part, then you gotta find a, uh, a big enough end fitting that'll go over the stud and secure a, like a 12 or 14 gauge wire. These little studs around here remedy that so you can just use you know a regular stud or terminal end you get from a chain store or something like that instead of having to go buy some off Amazon or whatever. Got these at Summit. That's the number. It comes with a warning too so don't eat them. You'll end up uh, getting cancer if you eat six a day for seven years. So Anyway, just want to pass that along, and I'll finish this off once I get the LTD going again. Later. All right, guys, it's running. I'm sure it's getting all the lifter noise going on. I got 180, 188 there, 189. Wow. We got down here. We got like a 70 degree drop going through the radiator. But it's still getting a little bit warmer than I like. I had to uh, bring it over here by the garage because I managed to swap the uh, antifreeze and I was putting the uh, filling back up. But it still seems like it wants to run a little warm. That's what I was afraid of. I don't think that water pump would make that much difference. They, they did recommend a high flow water uh, thermostat, so that might be the next step before putting the uh, putting the, uh, what you call it, underdrive pull, or the stock pulley back on it. But I mean, it runs good. I was on the way to the track with it last Sunday when it started cutting out for some reason. It says two, 205 on the temp gauge. Got 198, 200 there. So, so uh, didn't really help out. So I'll check into, uh, Maybe, maybe go back to like a 185 thermostat. See how that works. But we'll get her licked. Later, fellas. Hi, fellas. We're out here doing a data log on the LTD. Uh, I figured I'd give you an update. But first off, seeing how it is Mother's Day. I hope you all called your mama this morning if she's still kicking. Told you how much you appreciated her for carrying your butt around and pushing you out her pee hole. The best analogy for that is like a wet St. Bernard going through a doggy door. So make sure to 
to give your mom some thanks for, and love for doing that. Uh, as far as this thing, it's running a lot better. I had some issues with the uh, mass air meter, the old reliable 92 millimeter Pro M. Just had something wrong with it. I think I dropped it probably one too many times, but uh, when I put a slot meter on, it seems to be working a lot better. I've still got a bunch of other issues with it. Like number one, that window decided it, it didn't want to go up anymore today. So I got the windows down. Uh, the speedometer, see it's decided it didn't want to work when I put a new speedometer cable in there. The back of the uh, speedometer housing broke off. And I had to put a new speedometer cable in because the old one bound up. And when it bound up, it sheared off all the teeth on the, uh, or some of the teeth on the uh, gear, uh, the driven gear off the tail shaft. So it's been letting me know it ain't happy about sitting for four years, but we'll get these things ironed out. Uh, the overheating issue, kind of got that remedied a little bit. It, I uh, turned the DC controller down so the fan comes on quicker. And I put a 180 degree thermostat in it and the, uh, you know, the uh, high volume water pump. And it's a 180 degree high volume or high flow thermostat, whatever. Um, but it still tends to overheat. It, I shouldn't say overheat. It runs like 210 when it sits and idles for a little bit. So I'm going to put a Mark 8 fan on it. I've got one in the, at the house. I just got to get time to put it on. Um, I mean, this runs fine at, on the street. Running 188 according to that long right down there. So, and it's like 80 degrees out right now. But, uh, I think that's about it. You know, I just said I got a bunch of things to wrap up on here. And uh, I'll connect this one to the other two little videos I got, put this up. And uh, that'll be that. This will uh, probably be going to the track with this thing Friday night. So Kevin should be there to get some videos and we'll let you know how things turn out. All right, appreciate y'all, later. All right, just because I wanted to clarify something. See the fans are still running. It's turned off a little bit. They'll run down a little ways. Uh, controller runs them. What I was getting at with the uh, fans, typically the rule of thumb is if it overheats at idle, the fan capacity is too low. If it overheats on the road, then your radiator capacity is a little too low. So uh, I think the issue here is the fans are obviously not enough. The Mark 8 fan moves a lot more air than these two things. And the radiator is probably just marginal at best. I'm going to see if there's something a little heavier duty, but still not so thick it uh, obstructs some of the air going through. So, uh, yeah, I tried the underdraft fully. I tried the high flow water pump. I tried the high flow lower temp thermostat. And they just kind of, they all helped a little bit, but not quite enough to uh, take care of it the way I want. So next up is going to be to put the Mark 8 fans on. And then maybe I can go back to the underdrive pulley. As you can see, the slot meter set up. I had a little uh, pigtail I stole off Vincent's 94 GT. I'll, uh, I've got a couple of connectors, so I'll pigtail onto that so I can run either the regular math or the slot meter. So uh, that's about it. This ought to do it. Just want to clarify what was going on with this and. Uh, Hope you all have a good Mama's Day. Later.